Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. So let's get started. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is my creamy bow tie chicken using leftovers from my Noah's chicken recipe. So let's get started. In my pot I have some leftover chicken from my Noah's chicken recipe along with leftover broccoli so I chopped it up really fine. So you can see the chicken and broccoli in here. This is what I do with my leftover uh, Noah's chicken recipe. So to this chicken and broccoli I'll be adding in two cups of the heavy whipping cream. Now I'll place this on top of my stove. I have my burner on medium high. To this I'll add in a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. I'll let this come to a boil. I'll be serving this over bow tie pasta, but you can use the pasta of your choice. You can see it's coming to a boil. I have my water boiling on the stove and I'll cook my bow ties according to the directions on the package. To this I'm going to add in a cup of ricotta cheese. So here's one cup. I'll mix it around. And this will be my sauce for over my bow ties. And this is what I call my creamy bow tie chicken. I'll lower my burner to medium low. I'm waiting for my water to come to a boil so that I can add in my bow ties. So this sauce is, has thickened up beautifully. It looks good. I'll add in just a handful of Parmesan cheese. Thicken it up a little bit more. I'll mix it around. My water has almost come to a boil. Now I'll give this a try. Mm, perfect. My water is boiling so I'll add in my bow ties. And it's one box which is 12 ounces. So just Cook it according to the directions on the package. Once the bow ties are cooked, then I'll put the sauce on and it's done. And I made another recipe out of leftovers, out of my leftover Noah's chicken. So a few more minutes for the bow ties. I drained my bow ties. So now I'll take some of my cheesy sauce, pour it on top of the bow ties. Oh yeah. Mix it around. Look at how good that looks. So now I'll add just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I'll give it a try. So now that I salt and peppered it, I'll mix it around, take a bite. I have the chicken, the broccoli, the bow tie, the perfect bite. Mmm, 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 mmm. Really good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Deserves a second bite. Mmm. Nice and creamy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Enjoy. 
Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watching me make my creamy bow tie chicken using my leftovers from my Noah's chicken recipe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye. Thank you.